Hi, and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity's Top 10 Horror Movies. Uh, this video is being made on Halloween to celebrate Halloween. I typically don't do holiday themed videos, but I saw a whole bunch of Halloween themed videos coming out and I thought, hey, why not? So I decided to jump on this bandwagon and do my top 10 favorite horror movies. However, don't expect me to do more holiday themed videos. For example, don't expect a top 10 Christmas movies list as I can't stand Christmas movies or Christmas themed TV shows or Christmas songs or anything to do with Christmas. Bah humbug! But Halloween is something I can get behind because no one really takes Halloween seriously. Uh, so hey, why not? So an important thing to know about me uh, before going into this uh, top 10 horror movie list is that I don't like horror movies, uh, which is a key element to understand in this list. It's quite the opposite from lists that come from horror movie fans or fans of the horror genre. This will be quite different since I typically do not like horror movies, mainly because they all seem to use the same tropes and cliches. While some have uh, fun with this, I do not. I'm not a fan of excessive gore or torture porn, even those meant to be comedic. So, since I'm not a fan of horror movies, this list will feature a lot of movies that cross genres. So, a lot of the movies on this list might have you going, Hey, that's not horror, that's a thriller, or that's an action, or that's just a dark drama, or whatever. But I'm sorry, but that's the only way I could complete this list. I judge movies on whether or not I found them creepy or scary, not on whether or not they fit neatly into a preconceived horror genre. So, I make no apologies if you deem any film on this list to not be horror deal with it and most of the films on this list that are exclusively horror are not the kinds of ones that you would typically expect to find on lists like this as i'm not a fan of horror i have unusual tastes and tend to go more for films that are creepy or eerie rather than the ones that use a lot of jump scares and blood and gore or other cheap tricks that so many other horror movies use so before I tell you what's on my list, I want to run down a few movies that aren't on my list. As I know I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, Oh, I can't believe you didn't include such and such movie on your list. What's wrong with you? And I'm sure I'll still get comments like that, and that's fine. But I want to head off a couple of those comments by warning you what will not be on this list. First off is any classic horror movie franchises like Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, or Saul, or anything like that. I'm not a fan of these movies. Uh, as I said, they all follow the same basic like format and a, usually being rather cliched. Uh, you won't find horror comedy classics like the Evil Dead movies or Shaun of the Dead. I'm sorry, these really aren't my thing and I'm just not that into them. Shaun of the Dead was okay. I enjoyed the movie, but I don't consider it a uh, comedic masterpiece like so many seem to. And also, you will not find Scream on this list. I hate Scream. I'll just put that out there right now. I remember when this film first came out, uh, everyone I knew was going on about how great this movie was. Uh, it didn't look good to me, but since I couldn't stop hearing about how awesome it was, I eventually broke down and saw it, and I hated it. It was even worse than I thought it would be, so yeah, no Scream. Another movie I want to mention that definitely will not be on this list is The Shining. Now, The Shining is considered a horror classic. I remember watching this movie on cable several times when I was a kid, and I could never make it all the way through without falling asleep. So I chalked that up to just being a kid. So I watched it more recently as an adult, and it was creepy enough. Some scenes in it were great, like the ghost bartender one that creeped me the fuck out. But... The one major issue I had with this film was casting Jack Nicholson in the main role. Not that I have anything against Jack Nicholson. He's an amazing actor, but come on. He was acting insane from the very first scene. Tommy, I told you to knock that fucking noise off, man. So the fact that he went slowly insane was the most expected thing in the world. Uh, it can barely even be considered a transformation, which kind of undercut that's the whole purpose of the film. Plus the whole thing about the kid having psychic powers where the movie gets its title from uh, is completely irrelevant and superfluous to the plot. But anyway, 
So other types of movies you won't find on this list are more recent, uh, you know, horror movies that critics seem to love, like The Conjuring and The Witch. To be honest, I haven't seen most of these, and the few that I have seen, I just thought were okay. Like The Babadook, which everyone was ranting and raving about. It was just okay. Mostly I found it a bit boring and hokey. And then, then there's uh, It Follows, which was also just okay. Sure, it was creepy, but I didn't appreciate the very obvious PSA about Hey kids, don't have teenage sex. That was just a bit too blatant for me. And finally, as most of uh, the film's lists that I do... Uh, this is limited to my lifetime, so don't expect films like The Exorcist or Psycho or Rosemary's Baby or Nosferatu. Uh, you know, that's just not me, so think 80s and above. Okay, so enough about what isn't on my list. Let's finally get down to what is on my list. But before I get into my top 10, let's start with a few honorable mentions that didn't quite make my list. First honorable mention is Resident Evil. Yes, let me give you a few moments for your head to explode that I put Resident Evil higher than The Shining or Shaun of the Dead. But here's the thing about Resident Evil. Even though it spawned a ridiculous amount of shitty sequels, and even the second half of this film was subpar to say the least, I found the opening sequence with the artificial intelligence systematically killing off an entire complex full of office workers just going about their day creepy as fuck. And the way it was done just really stuck with me. Yeah, the movie got a bit ridiculous when it got more into the zombie stuff, but I found even uh, when the team came to investigate, it was really creepy to see them pick through the aftermath of this massacre, and that bloodthirsty AI was still out there, and she was so creepy. Uh, so something about this film I personally found really scary, uh, but don't bother with the sequels. Next honorable mention is The Blair Witch Project. I typically do not like found footage films, and the main reason being is that they're all just copying this film pretty much. And I know this wasn't the first found footage movie ever made, but I do find this to be uh, the first and the best at this format. As it made, uh, you know, the people, the characters in the movie feel real to you, and you felt fear. When they felt fear, you felt fear. And that's an element, I think, that all the copycats uh, found footage films failed at doing because they come off as more as too fake, where this one felt more genuine. Next honorable mention is Angel Heart. Uh, so that film from the 80s with Mickey Rourke and Robert De Niro, this was another film I kept falling asleep on uh, trying to watch it as a kid, uh, trying to watch it on cable as a kid. But once I finally saw this as an adult, this, this film did creep me the fuck out. No spoilers, even though this movie is about 30 years old. I still won't give away any spoilers, but the ending, despite being a bit hokey and over the top, still creeped me out extremely. It kind of made everything in the retro respect even more creepy. And the last honorable mention is Jacob's Ladder. And I remember seeing this in the theaters in the late 80s, and I hated it because I was too young to appreciate the abstract form of storytelling. Plus, I kept expecting to see this scene from the commercials I saw like a billion times where this guy says, I can block the ladder. So based off of that, I was expecting a totally different resolution than the one we got. But once I finally saw that deleted scene decades later when the DVD was released, it made a lot more sense, and I still I still think that scene should have been included. It was just awesome. Regardless, I always found this to be an extremely creepy film, and the ending revelation brought a sense of realism to it that made it all the more creepy. Definitely a horror classic in my opinion. So now let me get to my top 10 favorite horror movies, starting with my number 10, Cube. Now, Cube is a low-budget Canadian film released in the late 90s, and I remember in 1999 and 2000, a group of friends and I were really into this movie, and we kept talking about it. In retrospect, it does use some a lot of horror movie tropes, but the fact they managed to film such a fantastical tale and make it so creepy on an extremely low budget was impressive. Cube tells the story of a group of random strangers suddenly finding themselves trapped in a series of different colored cubes, 
trying to find their way out like rats in a maze. Problem is, some of these cubes are booby trapped and thus uh, those who make a wrong move meet a gruesome death. So even the end did, you know, kind of deflate into cliche land. I still found this film original and fresh enough for it to be a very memorable horror film. Plus, in retrospect, I realized it had a lot of actors I would later recognize, such as Nicole de Boyer, a.k.a. Esri Dax from Deep Space Nine, and David Hewlett, uh, a.k.a. Dr. McKay from Stargate Atlantis. Moving on to number nine, which is Event Horizon. Now, I've later seen a bunch of YouTube videos from the likes of the Nostalgia Critic that tore this movie apart, and I don't necessarily disagree with their criticism and think that they all made very valid points. But still, I always found this movie to be really creepy and scary. I think the fact that it's a science fiction that takes place on a haunted spaceship helps me since I'm such a huge fan of science fiction. Of course, on an intellectual level, the idea of a spaceship turning evil after going into an evil dimension is a bit ridiculous, but the way it was executed by having the creepy warning from the crew beforehand, and they tra later translated to say, save yourself from hell, uh, and just the slow manner in which the crew is confronted with the terrifying uh, aspects of the ship, I thought was really, like, perfectly disseminated, ultimately resulting in a film that creeped me out from start to finish. Coming in at number 8 is Interview with a Vampire. I can't say I found this film particularly scary, but it was a bit creepy. But more to the point, it featured great acting and a well laid out and executed story. This film, I would say, was more engaging than creepy as it had me fully invested. But of course, it does have some creepy or scary moments in the film. So I would say that qualifies it for this list. When the film first came out, I had friends who were totally obsessed with it as they were big fans of Anne Rice, and I tried reading some of her books at their suggestion, and to put it mildly, I did not care for them. So actually, I found this to be uh, an, an adaptation that elevates uh, its source material, in my humble little opinion. Number seven is Secret Window, an underrated Stephen King adaptation in my opinion. I wasn't completely blown away by this film, but I thought it was pretty solid and it features a great performance by Johnny Depp before he completely went off the deep end. Or the depth end. Ha ha ha. Anyway, again, I can't say too much about this film without giving away spoilers, but suffice to say, it very expertly tells the story of someone slowly losing their mind, and the ending was creepy as fuck, and unlike many other films, it actually made me creeped out and feeling eerie afterwards rather than being a contrived, obvious attempt to do so that I saw through. Number six is The X-Files Fight the Future, and I defy anyone who says The X-Files are not horror. They most certainly are. In fact, I think many of the episodes uh, of The X-Files are horror to a fault, as they fall into the same cliches. Fight the Future, however, I think is a perfect example of what the X-Files can do best. And granted, the majority of this film were just dialogue-driven scenes about a shadow conspiracy, and some sequences such as the awesome bomb in the building sequence felt more like an action movie, but the film began with an extremely effective horror sequence, a kid being attacked by the black oil that was very effectively scary, as was the sequence when the oil mutated into a monster that killed the scientist to studying it. So yeah, this film not only has some horror sequences, but some of the best that I've ever seen. Getting to my top five. Number five is Silence of the Lambs. More of a thriller, you say? Maybe, but it scared the fuck out of me. The creepy feeling this film manages to maintain set a dark and eerie tone that most horror movies can only dream of achieving. And its final sequence with our heroes stumbling in the dark when up against an adversary who, with night vision goggles is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. And of course, her conversations with Hannibal Lecter were effectively creepy, and I'm sure the source of many people's nightmares. Not to mention, of course, this film rightfully swept at the Oscars, winning Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best uh, Adapted Screenplay, which it all deserved. This was a perfectly crafted film. Number four on my list is a personal favorite of mine, 
Seven. Again, you could argue it's more of a suspense or thrill movie, but still this movie had the very best jump scare I've ever seen, where they find a man who has been tortured down to like a withered scale of a skeleton, a man guilty of child molesting and other heinous crimes, so a police officer leans down to him and whispers, you got what you deserved. And then he all of a sudden jumps up and you can't believe that he's still alive. I say that is officially the best jump scare ever. Other than that, this film is filled with extremely creepy and terrifying moments such as, uh, you know, having a John in a state of shock relating how he was forced at gunpoint to fuck a prostitute with a dildo made out of a deadly spike. And not to mention the dark ending that will just have you wanting to curl up into the fetal position and cry yourself to sleep. And more effectively, a dark and terrifying movie I cannot think of. Coming in at number three is Lost Highway. Again, most people don't think of this movie as a horror movie, but I can't think of any scene creepier than the mystery man scene where a creepy pale-faced guy walks up to a guy at a party and tells him uh, that he's at his house right now. So the guy calls his house and the creepy guy answers the phone at his house while he's also standing right in front of him and says, I told you I was here. I can think of nothing creepier than that. Arguably the rest of the film follows a more abstract rather than horror tone but the whole thing is extremely creepy and seeing how the whole film is about putting you inside the mind of a man who killed his wife and is in denial about it it does indeed take you to a very dark and disturbing place that will certainly creep you out number two on my list is 1408 Unlike other films on my list, uh, like The X-Files, Lost Highway, or Seven, this is a film you wouldn't find on any of my other top lists other than horror, as this isn't one of my all-time favorite films. But it is my go-to movie whenever I think of horror. This is another highly underrated Stephen King adaptation that stars John Cusack and a cameo by Samuel L. Jackson. This is a film about a man whose job it is to write and debunk the idea of reported who hotel haunted hotel rooms however he ends up in a hotel room that actually is haunted and the thing i love about this film is that it's more creepy than anything has it's you know has it's not too on the nose with its horror i love the haunted hotel room rather than kill its victims would basically just fuck with their heads until they want to kill themselves. And thus, you get more of a psychological thriller, and this film does an amazing job at developing this character and putting you inside his mindset. And it has extremely creepy touches, like having a cheery voice on the phone of a hotel receptionist that's really the room, and how she never uses direct you know, horror language and says things like, are you ready to check out now? Which we both understand by check out, she means kill yourself. And there's something that's more effective in that being creepy rather than having an insane sounding person on the phone being like, I'm going to kill you. That's just too on the nose to be scary. In addition, it takes a cheerful, happy-go-lucky 70s song with the chorus It's Only Just Begun and turns it into a creepy as fuck, horrific song that signifies horrible things are going to come. And I love, love, love when movies can do that effectively as it is no easy feat. So while I wouldn't call 1408 one of the best movies ever made, I would definitely say it's one of the best and most effective horror movies and certainly one of the most underrated ones in my humble opinion. So finally we get to my number one favorite horror movie and that is Aliens. Yes, I know this is also a science fiction action movie, but I defy anyone who says that there isn't elements of horror in this movie, as this film is effectively scary, and more than that, it takes this typical horror structure and a lot of the horror cliches and actually manages to present them in a fresh and very effective way and that is extremely effective part of the reason why i love this movie so much is that it manages to blend so many genres into one film to the point where it's hard to define but i'll be damned if i didn't find this movie had some of the scariest scenes that i have ever seen 
such as when the group of space marines were barricaded in the room that and has the aliens approached which they could tell because they had the scanner and yet couldn't see them until it occurred to them that they're in the freaking ceiling that was scary as fuck and let's talk about those scanners themselves what an effective horror tool to have this thing with the soft repetitive tinging sound beep Beep, that just got worse as the alien monsters got closer to you. I mean, what an effective way to ramp up the tension. It was so effective that many horror movies and uh, either copied or spoofed it. And it had many scenes such as Ripley, uh, you know, walking into the Queen Alien's den that were just scary beyond belief and just had you on the edge of your seat like no other movie could. And of course, on top of that, this movie manages to tell an amazing story with some of the best action, the best structure of any movie I've ever seen making it easily my number one favorite horror movie. So that's it for my top 10 favorite horror movies. Be sure to check out my channel for many more videos on random films, as well as I cover many other TV shows such as Game of Thrones, Star Trek, Humans, The Walking Dead, and more. So be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all of that. And thanks a lot for watching.